and uh, <laughs> another lair. As you see, the lair is still up at the 10 o'clock position. The defensive matrix of uh, Marines are not doing too well here against the radiated ultras. So it looks like this entire troop in the middle of the map is going to go down. But Lita has taken his 6 o'clock expansion, and that's the most important part. Because right now he's got to take down at least two bases and keep that 6 o'clock base up. If he does that, he's going to even up this game a little bit more. But these drop strategies just don't seem to be working out too well for him. He picks up his Marines again. Looks like he's going to try another base. But laying mines at the 6 o'clock position is very, very smart. Since Quanero is committed to a melee army, he's going to be working with ground troops. And he's going to try to run in there and there. And, and if he runs into a huge minefield, he might not be able to harass that 6 o'clock base. So very smart of Lita to throw down some more mines there. But he's got to keep up the mines because the Ultras are flooding down the map now, going straight for that 6 o'clock position. And Lita's not going to have much to hold this for much longer. Lita drops the 10 o'clock again, taking down quite a few drones, more radiate from Lita to uh, kill these Ultras. But the Ultras are just going to destroy everything down here. The, the, the tank getting rid of the Ultras as best they can. It looks like all these ultras are going to be cleaned up. Uh, there's Quadro building some sunken colonies to protect this lair. Lair is going to go down. So Lita at least taking down one base. He's got to take down another base, though. One more base for Lita, and he's going to even up this game a little bit more. He has plenty of barracks. If he takes another base, he's going to be able to build more, more barracks, but he can't afford that right now. Oh boy, so Quanro is still in a pretty good position. I think he's going to try to rebuild that 10 o'clock position soon. Dropship going down before any medics can pop out of the dropship. And <laughs> protecting the drones with the Dark Swarm. Very uh, nice reactions from Quanro so far. Okay, protects the 9 o'clock base. So Quanro is still doing well as far as macro goes. Lita has to take down another base if he wants to stay competitive. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to do an eraser trick down at the 8 o'clock position with those two science vessels. And actually, Quanro has not done a very good job limiting the science vessel count. There are a huge number of science vessels out in the map right now. He hasn't scourged nearly enough of them. There's the eraser trick from Lita. He's going to chase around these drones, kill all of them with the irradiated science vessels. Very smart play. It's going to limit the mining. But he still needs to take down a hatchery. And he's going to have to rely on more drops to do that because Quanro is still a very big presence in the middle of the map with his ultraless build. Although still kind of stupidly suiciding all of his ultras into the medic marines. He's got to play a little bit more careful. You can kind of see that in his eyes. He's like, all right, all right, got to focus a little bit more on this. But uh, there is the Dark Swarm at the 6 o'clock position. If that gets harassed too much longer, Lita's not going to be able to stay in this game because he needs that at this point. Okay, let's see the 10 o'clock base coming up again, that hatchery being built. And let's see what else Lita does. He's going to do another eraser trick, or at least try to, with the Scourge coming at the exact same time. Okay, there's another eraser trick from Lita. Going to kill all of these drones. Oh, Quanner is very slow to run those. He loses every single one. So it looks like Quanner is having a little bit of difficulty uh, dealing with this late game ZVT. He's kind of not be being able to focus on all the fronts at once. So I think Lita is starting to shine right now in late game. He's taken down the drone count quite a bit, but he still has to take out a hatchery and keep that 10 o'clock down. Even though there's a lot of sunken colonies there now, I know. But okay, Quanro, at least he did get some economic harassment. Still getting some economic harassment at the 6 o'clock position. So Lita is still in dire straits. He's got to keep that 6 o'clock, maybe try to expand over at the 3 o'clock soon. But he is getting some nice harassment of his own, killing as many drones as he can. Oh, the huge line of vultures. A lot of nice tech switching from Lita in this game. But it runs into a lot of sunkens. The sunkens are going to drill through the vultures no problem. But okay, uh, Quanro looks like he's grouping up some more ultralists right next to his natural expansion. A single scourge lying there. And the 6 o'clock base almost going down. Uh, I'm not sure if Lita's going to be able to stay in this much longer. He doesn't have any mining right now. No mining at the natural. No mining inside the main. So he's not mining at all. Oh man, this is not looking good for Lita right now. All of his attacks are failing, it looks like. 
uh, finally retaking the six o'clock position. It looks like Quandar has been able to hold long enough uh, to make this macro advantage worth it. Finally taking out some science vessels. But Lita's science vessels have not been at all. Sneaky Scourge coming out of nowhere, finally taking down the science vessels. So uh, Lita does not have much hope left. Those science vessels were pretty much his only hope. He had so many of them, he would be able to irradiate everything, uh, do some eraser tricks at each base. But now he's not able to do that, even though he is getting a little bit more economic harassment on. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I mean, if a Zerg player has this many bases, it doesn't make mu many much of a difference how many drones you take down, because they'll just replenish those within a second. So Lita, not looking good for him right now. I think we're probably going to see a GG soon from him. Let's see if he can break out with a final attack. He is going straight for the 8 o'clock base. Looks like he's going to be able to take that down as long as no troops pop through this Nidus Canal in time. I don't see any more Ultras out for Quanro. Curiously enough, his Ultra list count has kind of gone down to zero. Okay, there's finally the Ultras popping through the Nidus Canal. Everything being dematrixed, every single unit being dematrixed here for Lita and forced to retreat at the same time. Oh, not a good position to be in. Everything dematrix, a double dematrix firebat at the front uh, helps to take down that ultra list. So Lita is still playing very smart in this game. If he takes down this base, it would be a little bit better for him. But uh, lurkers in, kind of unexpected lurkers to defend that base. As Lita has uh, put all of his SUVs on the 6 o'clock base. He needs another base desperately, but I don't think Quano is going to let that happen now. And Lita can't even take down this uh, 8 o'clock base because of the Nidus Canal there. Okay, more Scourge coming down. Being intercepted by Lita. Look at all that D-Matrix. This is very, very ridiculous play from Lita. Okay, the Nidus Canal went down, so that's at least something for Lita. But he's still in a bad position, even though he radiated both those lurkers at the front. There's still a lurker there. And uh, we're probably going to see some uh, reinforcements run in soon for Quanro, like Defilers and Ultras. Yeah, pretty much uh, the entire tech tree running down the map. Lots of Defilers coming in. A uh, second attempt at an Anais Canal went down, so it looks like Lita will be able to take out this 8 o'clock base. It's very surprising uh, of Quanro. you think he'd be able to uh, protect this base at this stage in the game, uh, having such an advantage for such a long period of time. But I guess he lost a lot of drones in the middle of the game. So he loses the 8 o'clock expansion, and uh, actually, if he loses another base, Alita will be able to get back in this game, but I don't, I still don't think that Quanro is going to let that happen. I mean, he just has so much mining at each of these bases, but uh, as you can tell, Quanro is not used to this. He is not used to going into late game of any matchup, and it is very bizarre to see him using Ultras and Defilers, I have to say. And it's uh, been kind of a little bit sloppy in the game, but still some very powerful play, very aggressive play from him early in the game. I think pretty much sealed the deal here. But okay, running down towards the natural expansion, probably towards the 6 o'clock. Yeah, he's going straight for the 6 o'clock, the only mining base left for Lita. And uh, he's only barely mining gas at this point even though he hasn't been using much gas, utilizing much gas. There's the GG, finally, from Lita. Uh, this is a this is going to be a great series, no matter who wins the next set. But okay, it's Cespin Nuke going to move on to set two.